They meet every year about this time, and it's always a supercharged afternoon, but it's been nearly two decades since they've come in this highly ranked. Number three, NDSU. Number eight, UND today in Fargo for the 107th national time. ranking, Steve. Both teams in the top ten, and NDSU win would solidify their position in the national coaches' poll. A UND victory would probably vault them ahead of the Bison in the national poll. But most important is the NCC race, a four-way tie coming in. NDSU, UND, South Dakota State, and Omaha all at 2-0. and all. The loser of this game, however, is not out of the race as it used to be in years past when this game ended the regular season. And as we take a look at the offensive matchups, well, the obvious edge goes to North Dakota State, led by the powerful running game of Lamar Gordon and that veteran offensive line, senior quarterback Ryan Johnson. UND's offense still struggling to find itself a little bit. They were held to two touchdowns last week at Mankato. Nobody was really satisfied with that effort. They're looking to bounce back today. On the other hand, UND's hallmark has always been defense, and these numbers bear it out, allowing an average of 17 yards rushing a game. They held Mankato to minus 28 a week ago, and per play, per play, UND allowing an average of 1.9 yards. Brian Johnson, senior quarterback, West of Minnesota. Lamar Gordon, junior running back, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Craig Tangen, sophomore fullback, Grand Meadow, Minnesota. Eric Nelson senior wide receiver, Andover, Minnesota. Shane Detman, junior, wide receiver, Bismarck, North Dakota. Chair Peck, junior, tight end, Bloomington, Minnesota. Chuck Claybo, sophomore, left tackle, Middle North Dakota. Paul Keller, sophomore, offensive line. John Kuchenko, senior, center, Max, North Dakota. Josh Abel, junior, offensive line, White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Peter Campion, junior, Offensive line, Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Ryan Johnson under center. They'll give to Gordon again on the second play from scrimmage, and it's stopped right in the middle. Number 90, Eric, 23 of 59 this year on third down. They face a third and nine from the Sioux 34. Double receivers right, backs in the eye behind Kelby Klosterman. They give now. They run a little option play. Pitches out. Perkarevich to the outside. Slowed up by Jay Hatley. Pursuit gets there. And UND will have to punt it away. Delayed give. Gordon has a hole into the secondary, out across the 25-yard line. He's up close to another third, third down. down. 16 yards to go. UND from its own 38-yard line. Give to Zahn. Nothing there. I'm not sure he was going to play at all Monday or Tuesday, but he's been a warrior today. Now Gordon looking to get to the outside. Trying to get to the corner. He does. And shoved out of bounds inside the 20. Aaron Peterson, two of three on the year. Ball is down. The kick is up. Yeah. And it has, looks like, about 88 yards to go in a minute and a half, and there's not too many teams that can do that against UND, but the Bison will give it the old college try. Johnson rolling left, looking for a receiver. Nothing shaping up. Now a throw deep downfield, looking for Eric Nelson, and he makes the catch at the 38, inside the 30. Nelson looking to get to the corner at the 10, at the 5, and finally run out of bounds by Dustin Thornburg at the 3 yard line. would be an 85-yard pass, catch and run, but the Bison are walking backward, and you talk about the penalties that have hurt NDSU all season long. There's another one. You look at the numbers, Steve. I mean, these look like quarter totals after one quarter and these are the halftime numbers three first downs for North Dakota that should be five first downs for uh, second NDSU. and ten Sue at their own 21 give Perkarevich off the right side nothing there Luke Hendrickson in to mess it up and Tom Krenz knifing in from his outside linebacker spot to make the tackle it will be a third down at about nine have been outstanding on defense both offensive coordinators looking to up things up a little bit now Klossman back to pass under pressure and down he goes at the 22 yard line. Klossman scrambled out of the pocket. Actually made a positive gain on the play but not the gain that he was looking for. It'll bring up fourth down and nine yards to go. Clint Gelstad, big number 98 out of Velva, North Dakota. So it's third and 10 with 10.49 to go in the third quarter. Nice to have you with us on this Saturday afternoon in Fargo. Johnson with three receivers in the pattern. Throws. Caught by Shane Dedman. Can he get to the stick? He does. Gets away to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, NDSU. Second down, six yards to go on the Sioux 32-yard line. 
Double receivers to the left for Kelby Klosterman, and he wants to look there. He throws, and it is caught. The officials mark it as a catch outside the 40-yard line, and that's the first completed pass of the afternoon for UND. Robbie Holmquist, the senior out of Buffalo, Minnesota, a nice catch low to the ground, got in front of his man. And at this point, it's all concentration to keep the hands under the ball and between the ball and the carpet. And the official was right there to get a good look at it. Defense goes 73 yards on us. That's where we're at. Give to Lamar Gordon, gets outside to the 25, outside to the 30, keeps fighting his way out close to a We understand down. the attendance for today's game, 19,000 and 20 people. A sellout, and that breaks the old record of 19,007 that was set back here in 1998. This is now the largest crowd that has ever watched a single game sporting event in North Dakota history. Glad that you could be with us. Though we're in. Ball on the 36 yard line. Ryan Johnson with double receivers to the right. Back and looking, gets good protection. Now throws looking deep for Eric Nelson. He's got it! A great diving catch by Eric Nelson at the 19 yard line. Ryan Johnson right on the money. Perfect throw, the coverage was there, but the ball was perfectly placed. And NDSU again is in the red too. zone. Might have been just a little love tap there as he puts his arm on him, just to mark where he is, knocks him away, but nothing blatant enough for the official to call it. Pass interference is one of those touchy calls. It could go either way so many times. But they all seem to even out in the end, don't they, Pat? Mm -hmm. Ball will be put down at the 25-yard line. A 35-yard attempt by Peterson. Spotted, booted. Yeah, yeah. It is up, and it is good. Aaron Peterson with his second field goal of the game. 13-6, NDSU, 2.56 to go in the third. Dale Ennis said in our pregame show that he thought special teams would possibly decide this game, and right now they are. Squibber. Little pooch kick. Takes a funny bounce, stays and bounces. A live ball and is recovered by NDSU. Matt Swanson grabs it at the 30-yard line. And Aaron Peterson could not have done it any better if he'd have stood out there all day trying it. The kick is on the way. And it is good. Aaron Peterson is three of three. First down at 10 on the Bison 15-yard line. Posterman has one receiver to the right, backs in the eye behind him. Draw play, Perkarevich gets to the outside. Trying to get to the corner, gets there to the five. Touchdown, Jed Parker Three receivers out for NDSU on third down and seven. 521 to play in the fourth quarter. Johnson back to pass. Gets good protection, now throws, and it's caught at the 13-yard line. First down, Mark Pratton out of Stanley, North Dakota, makes the catch. His first grab of the game, and what a time to come up. Second down and one on the 23. Lure leading the way for Gordon, finds a hole, has a first down and more. Across the 30-yard line, out to near the 31. And the clock continues to roll, under four minutes now to play. The question of it, 3.05, and time is counting down. The Sioux have three timeouts left, the Bison two timeouts left, and it becomes a game of ball control here. Lamar Gordon up to 114 rushing yards. This is Deshaun Perkins running hard. Out across the 40-yard line, out to the 40. Oh, they're not. The rush is on. Kosterman steps up. Now buys more time. Nobody Looking open. For a receiver. There's nobody there. And he throws it away. The Bison have held. And NDSU with 26 points. Pretty hardy bear hugs on the NDSU sideline. Johnson takes the knee, and that'll do it. The Bison have beaten UND in the Fargo Dome. And the nickel is in the hands of the boys wearing the green and yellow shirt. Bubba Cop with the hostile coup of the nickel.